It's Ty Inspire, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another episode of Heart to Heart. And I'm very excited today to introduce my guest to you. This is the beautiful and talented Nika Valone. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Of course, yes. And we are... You know, we're really relaxed, and my um, my subscribers are very interested in topics like the ones that we'll be talking about, okay. travel and everything. So we like to have fun. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have fun, and we're gonna have a good conversation for you today. Because I want you to know some of the wonderful things that Nika is doing here in Ghana, because she is doing some amazing things. But first, you know we have to talk about my favorite topic, and that's travel. <laughs> yes. So, so first we're going to dive into travel, and um, let's just talk about how you ended up traveling to Ghana. Because, okay. you know, you, she lives here in Ghana, and... How did that come about? Well, I'm originally from uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, and in 2017, I was a call center manager. Mm -hmm. Hired this young lady and was talking to her about my traveling fashion production, Fire on the Runway, mm -hmm. and I was telling her I have an interest of going to Lagos, Nigeria Wow! to host yeah. a fashion show in Africa. Uh -huh. And so she just said, well, would you consider Ghana? And initially, I was like, I've never heard of it. Okay. And that was my honest truth. In 2017, That's I had never heard of, of Ghana. Ghana. Wow. And so um, from there, I started just going on YouTube and looking at all the different videos and just kind of trying to familiarize myself with it. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. There mm -hmm. was a YouTuber, I don't even remember her name. Mm -hmm. She had a video about um, traveling and visiting Ghana, the nightlife. Oh, okay. <laughs> And that got you excited. That got me excited. I was like, oh, okay. I want to go there for other reasons. But I definitely want to check out that nightlife. And so um, as time went on, early 2018, I started to make connections through Facebook mm -hmm. um, and Instagram and connecting with people who could possibly help me facilitate a model call. Okay. So I, it got very serious quickly. Like, okay, we're going to go there. We're going to actually do a fashion show okay. in Ghana. Okay. So in April of 2018, and I came for four days. Okay. And it was not enough. Mm -hmm. And I was like, mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to come back. So I had attempted to do the fashion show a couple of times, but just wasn't connected with the right people. Plus, I didn't know enough. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so I, I feel like it's my own fault in the essence of just take my time yeah. before just jumping right into doing business in another country. A fashion yes. show at that. See, he did hear that. <laughs> take your time. Take your time. Yeah. You know, it's okay to take your time. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Exactly. So I came 2018, the end of April, did the model call, had over 150 models that attended. Wow. Very successful. Wow. I was very happy, very mm -hmm. proud. And from there, I was just been determined that I'm going to do a show here show. in Ghana. Okay. So that's what got me started. Wow. Fire on the Runway. That's right. So fire, <laughs> we're going to talk about Fire on the Runway yeah. a little bit later, too. But um, so then your permanent move, because now you're here permanently, right? Yeah. So how did the permanent move happen and when did that happen? Um, so I, I traveled a couple of times here mm -hmm. and each time when I would leave I was just feeling like I need to be here. It's so much more that I can do. I felt alive here, very vibrant. Mm -hmm. So um, in October of 2020 well, the beginning of 2020, I started thinking about I'm going to go ahead and make the move. Mm -hmm. I was going to make the move in August. Mm -hmm. However, because of COVID, mm -hmm. the airports were closed. That's right, yeah. All these things happened. And then, unfortunately, my mom got really sick with okay. COVID. And so oh. I stayed back, and then um, she got better. And they opened the borders, mm -hmm. flying-wise. Yeah. So. I came. came. I came That's October it. of 2020. Wow. And I've been here ever since. Oh, awesome. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. So how do you find your life here in Ghana? Oh, well, 
I find it to be interesting okay. because it's very unusual. I don't do usual things, so mm -hmm. me, I guess, attracting usualness is, is like <laughs> foreign language. Okay. <laughs> I understand so, that. So um, I find it to be very juvenating mm -hmm. because for me, I'm a single mother of six children. My children are adults now, and so I just feel like I'm so alive mm -hmm. and I have free opportunity to do things that I enjoy doing. That's right. You know, and yeah. just connecting and networking with with people that I really want to associate myself with, you know, and just being open-minded. Yeah. You know, um, a lot of growth has happened from when I first came in 2020 mm -hmm. to now, you know. Yes. I think when I first came, I had that um, U.S. anger mm -hmm. towards me. Yeah. You know, yeah. and, well, not towards me, but on me in a sense. And mm -hmm. so um, after just digressing from all of that and letting all the layers of hurt and anger and yeah. what has happened in the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. just come off. That right. that made things a lot better for me. Right. Yeah. And just being in a different environment. Being in a different just environment. Just helps, you know. Cultural. Yes. You know, the mm -hmm. food, the music, the mm -hmm. weather. Yes. You know, all even the things. rain is yes. coming to me here. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I don't like it when the roads are bad. But right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's good. It seems like Ghana has just been good to you as a person. Yes. You know, and, and healing. Yes. You know, and I do think that about Ghana as well. It's, it's just very, <clears throat> I always talk about the freedom that you feel, the peace. It's, it's just healing. Yeah. Yeah, because you don't um, have a lot to worry about. And I about, think you have to think want about. it, actually. You actually have to Dude. want the peace. You have to want the healing. You have to desire um, what happiness is. And yeah. I think that for so long we have built happiness around places, people, and situations, yep. and income. Yep. But when you learn to find out that you can be happy with the bare minimum, you can mm -hmm. be happy with nothing at all, you can be happy with the lights out, exactly. not happy that the lights are out, right. but happy you with can be out. happy with it happening, so and you're not allowing um, life to determine your inner happiness. So Definitely. that took that took a lot to get there. Yeah. But I'm there now. So You're there. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then you can appreciate being here because yes. of it. So yeah. Yeah. A whole lot more. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. That's very awesome. Yes. So what about your travels since you've been here or before here? Where what other places have you traveled to or do you desire to travel to? Okay, um, I was traveling a lot within the U.S. Mm -hmm. So I'd gone to New York, I had gone to California, I'd gone to Vegas, I'd gone to Texas, Kansas City, uh -huh. pretty much a lot within the, the U.S. US. Mm -hmm. And then as I started coming to Ghana, I would have layovers. So I've been to Athens, Greece. Mm -hmm. um, I've been to Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. I've been to Egypt. Uh -huh. I recently in the summertime, well, back in May, I took a trip to Dubai. Uh -huh. um, okay. Where else have I been? <laughs> Portugal. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And so some of the places that I desire is Kenya. Okay. Botswana. Uh -huh. um, Bali. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. I really want to go there yes. a, a lot. You yeah. Know? And I'm trying to head back there. So <laughs> it's, 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 it's beautiful. It oh is. man, it I want to also go to Australia. Yeah. I know they said that kangaroos are dangerous, but <laughs> I, I'm not really like gonna be. Like, You're not gonna be up in close. No, I'm not gonna be up in personal kangaroos. with them. Unless no, they, worry about unless that. they want to be, then I might try to have a little chat. But if. <laughs> So people are always like going to Australia because I oh, feel please. like being from America, um, for years we often thought black people didn't travel. Yeah. So there's a group on Facebook called um, Black People Travel, mm -hmm. Black Women Travel, mm -hmm. Solo Travelers. So I started getting involved with all those different groups. And when I was seeing mm -hmm. how black people, black women were mm -hmm. traveling, yes, I was just like, oh Isn't no, it I empowering? Would, it's very empowering. It is amazing. And we yeah. out here, yes. we are out here doing it and yes. doing it big. Yes. So I'm very proud of us yes. as black women too. And solo, you know. Yeah. So 
and I just think that if you know what you're doing yeah you know I mean we talk about the dangers of traveling alone yeah there is some we're, there are we're not some. we're yeah. not oblivious to that but I feel that some of it is just things we can't always prevent but we can do some things to prevent it like mm -hmm. not just asking anybody for information you know and that's right yeah 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 there are a lot of things that we can do to keep ourselves safe while we travel because you know we definitely don't want to promote just go out there and do it yeah you yeah you need to be responsible diligent yeah, yeah. um but it can be safe yes and it's definitely it fun, fun and rewarding yes. i think very rewarding i yeah. find solo travel to be just you know peaceful. it's a little bit better than when you even travel with oh i sometimes, love it unfortunately sorry friends i love yeah. you guys but i'm just, just being you know. honest because when you're by yourself if you want to go and climb a mountain mm -hmm. you don't you have to worry about somebody else not wanting to climb that's and, right you know so i just i love traveling with others yep However, I'm a fan of traveling by myself, by myself. because I only Number have myself one. to have an attitude with if something That's don't go right, right hey, you know? And it happens. And then you can get over it because you're like, oh, get over it. You have to just <laughs> move on. Yep, yeah. It's so true. Yeah. I, I love solo travel. I prefer it. Yeah. And yeah, you're right. Because I have had to be mad at myself a lot of times. Made some mistakes. Yeah. Like, dang. I shouldn't have did you that. You know, but. <laughs> what was I thinking? But oh, well, at least I don't have anybody else to be responsible yeah, for. So absolutely. I just. I just move yeah. yeah that's good when someone else is with you for some reason you always feel obligated to make sure they're having a good time and then so. you don't even be mindful of yourself having a good time it's so because true. your focus has now become on the other traveler or travelers <laughs> and then you just ask yourself like why did i make this my responsibility right but it's just who we are it is you know it is yeah and i mean when you travel with people that's just kind of what it's just kind of what you do yeah. you know everybody kind of sorry takes a little bit of a mothering <laughs> <laughs> i think so i think so. no matter your age it's yeah. always a mother in the group some it's kind so, of way it's so yeah. sure yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, that's good. Well, I, you know, I'm I'm definitely glad to hear that you you have a lot of um, plans to travel the continent yes. and outside the continent because I'm just a fan of traveling the world. Yes, so that's absolutely. that's really good. And, yeah. and traveling can be some of the best times of your life. Yes. I think. And it can teach you so much. I mean, one thing that I want to share is mm -hmm. um, I recently did this amazing photo shoot, and I yes, wore it the, was fire. Oh, so amazing. <laughs> and I wore the original um, Ahima. Mm -hmm the queen attire with the beads and the cloth, the kente cloth. And I sent a picture to my granddaughter. Oh. And she sent me an actual message and she was like, Granny, I love, love, love the photo. I really want to come and live in Africa. Uh -huh. And so that was like That's so, so amazing, amazing yeah. because I'm like, as me being a young girl, I didn't have, um, I didn't grow up with my grandmother, mm -hmm. grandmothers. So I didn't have that experience of someone actually being like this example. And so I just, I just think like, what do my grandchildren think? You mm -hmm. know, I have eight of them now. Wow. Yes. Just had and a new one join us on the wow. 12th. Wow, <laughs> that's congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. That's good. I mean, you know, yeah. they now they have an amazing, a beautiful example. Yes. Of, you know, what they could be, what they can be, you absolutely, know what I'm saying? What they can what they can strive to be. Yes. So yes. and then, you know, I just always love the idea of just things coming around full circle. Yeah. You know, so now she wants to come to the concert. Right. Oh maybe and, she'll and the funny thing is I had a conversation with her last week mm -hmm. and she was a little disturbed because a friend told her that Africa was a zoo. Oh, and so she was like, Granny, my friend said you live in a Z-O-O. -O. And I was like, a zoo? Like, I said, your granny doesn't live in a zoo. <laughs> Oh my God. But this is another kid, and yeah. my granddaughter's six, so the other kid's probably about six or seven as well. And yeah. it just is an example of how misinformed we are about the motherland in particular. And really, probably about places, period, you know? Yes. My mom was not a traveler, so yeah. Yeah. she was very, very skeptical about me 
decided I'm gonna move here. She was already like traveling was one thing, but you're moving, moving there. Now my mom is my biggest fan for this. She wants to live here herself. Wow, you know? That's awesome. yeah. yeah. And I told her in due time, mom, I yeah. will I will make sure that you can come she here and enjoy it. this. Yes. 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 That's so good. That is very, very good, yeah. yeah. It, it's important that we set the right examples for the people back at home because there is like, there are a lot of misconceptions. Yeah, it is. So let's talk a little bit about um, moving here. Okay. And how comfortable you feel in Ghana, um, what things may be uncomfortable. Um, how is that for you and how is that going for you? Well, for me, I'm always comfortable. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's just my personality, the way I grew up, coming from hardships, you know. Mm -hmm. So for me, any hardships that I faced here in Ghana, I'm able to overcome them very easily. Mm -hmm. I am a solution finder. That's right. So I'm always looking for a solution to everything. Mm -hmm. We can spend hours and hours complaining and talking about what's going wrong. Mm -hmm. However, what percentage of that did we look at to make it right. That's right. So I I can say I'm very comfortable here. I feel very safe here. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I haven't experienced anything that involved the police yeah. or, mm -hmm. you know, I might have to shout at a few people. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to use my 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 oh down my south God. voice, you know. <laughs> let somebody know, like, hey, I'm telling you, hey, hey, you know. But yeah. <laughs> other than that, I really, you know, I haven't had to do too much extra stuff. And if it was, mm -hmm. if I did, it's my own choice. It's mm -hmm. something that I decided to do. Right. So I'm finding it to be very comfortable. Mm -hmm. I finally feel like. I'm in such a growing phase where yeah. I'm growing constantly yeah. because of different appointments that I've accepted here in Ghana, mm -hmm. different things that's um, evolving with my business. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm also an Amazon bestselling author mm -hmm. and getting ready to launch another book. So mm -hmm. I'm just free minded here. Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't worry yeah. about a light bill or right. a cell phone bill or internet. I just just find a way right you know that's beautiful yeah that's beautiful. and I've been very fortunate to have family and friends to support me mm -hmm. and the things that I've been doing that are not in Ghana mm -hmm. so that's been helpful because being an entrepreneur and um, developing a good stream of income in another country sometimes it's not always happening like one two three yeah. so um, be up for the challenge yeah you know that's right and in those essence and know yeah. that things don't always operate the way which you're used to yes however you can still get things done that's right yeah that's right you that's definitely can. The very well said yes very good advice there too yeah you talked about your business yes and the things that you're doing and i happen to know that you're doing some amazing things Thank here you. so why don't you tell us about some of the things the projects that you're working on okay um, one of, for my business, is called Fire on the Runway International. We are a traveling fashion production. We travel around the world producing fashion shows. So we're always connecting with um, a multitude of different people. Mm -hmm. I recently was appointed chairwoman of the Greater Accra Model Union of Ghana. Wow. Yes, so that was a huge accomplishment. I'm looking forward to what me and my team is going to be able to do, mm -hmm. as well as I am a director of operations for a nonprofit organization here in Ghana okay. um, called Bristol Ghana Foundation. Yes. And what we are geared towards is helping the teen mothers, mm -hmm. developing programs, helping them to develop technical and vocational skills. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, we want to help them to really understand that, yes, you became a teen mom, but you don't have to make it the end of the world. That's right. And just giving them the tools to help them be successful. My NGO yeah. needs to pair up with theirs. Okay. With some of the, the girls because Most definitely. I have a self-esteem um, program within my NGO. Really? Yeah, geared towards girls and yes. that teenage age group yes that's amazing yeah, so that's amazing it would be really good yes A we good definitely addition. can because yeah. that's something that I want to build within the girls we have eight girls in our care right now okay and um, 
we kind of been slow with some of our steps just because we're trying to figure the best way out on how to help them. Mm -hmm. And like most nonprofits, we need funding. Yes. You know, we want to be it. able to get computers, stable housing for them. Mm -hmm. um, we, we even, I even thought about like we need a daycare because we want them to go to yeah. school right. but who's, who's going to watch care for the their kids. child. Yeah. That's right. So, yeah. I'm yes. trying to do a whole system. <laughs> That's good, though. Yes, and yes. you being um, a young mother, you're definitely yeah. a good example for them. And they can see, you know, the other side, like Absolutely. the light at the end of the tunnel. Absolutely. Like, this can be me, too. Yeah. And I, that's why I feel like I'm the best person for this, yeah. you know, being a young mother, having five children by the age of 18. Mm -hmm. It's like almost unheard of, but <laughs> <laughs> it happens. But it's your story. It's my story, yeah, and I own story. it. And so um, I also do things... I help the diasporans a lot connect with different things when they come here. Okay. So I'm involved with real estate projects. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually working with a company that's coming from Canada, mm -hmm. and they're getting ready to open up an all-purpose event center close by the Labadi Beach. Oh, wow. So, okay. yeah, I will be working with them as either a project manager or something very close to that to that title. Very good. And just making sure that that goes on very well. Um, I'm a big advocate for understanding the move to uh -huh. Ghana. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. That's really good. Yeah. Understanding the move to Ghana. There's a lot to understand. That's a lot. And <laughs> if you are looking to move to Ghana, it is, you know, in your best interest that you connect with somebody that's here on the grounds, preferably somebody that is either Ghanaian or um, who is living here um, Absolutely. to help assist you with your move. Um, because Ghana is a country that is about who you know and the connections. There are a lot of countries like that. Ghana is one of them. So the more people you know, the better off you're going to be. I agree. So if you need her services, she is here. We're going to leave her information um, in the description so that you can contact her. Can you tell them how they can get in touch with you? The best way is through Instagram right now, which is Nika underscore Malone. I'm always checking my DMs. You know, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. if if not, I'm a Fia Nico on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Any one of those channels is a good way. I do have an email, mm -hmm. um, Nika Kalia mm -hmm. at Gmail. People send me emails okay. sometimes just asking yeah. various or different questions. But yeah. I usually get a lot of DMs from Instagram mm -hmm. and Facebook, too. Yeah. Yeah. OK. They like, I want to come. It. What yeah. do I do? And this and that. And so I'm not an agent. But right, I can no. definitely help you, you help do assist. what you need to do. That's, that's right. That's what it is, you know. And that's what you need. And, exactly. And I'm always available too, which some of my subscribers have reached out and I've helped them. And even when you come into the city, I'm here, you know, to help and to assist as well. Yes. I think it's important. You gotta build a community. And you and Nikki has also done that by um creating a group of Vibe Sisters Connect. Yep. Right? The Vibe Sisters. Yes. Connect. So it's a yes. WhatsApp group and yep. um it is is I think it's a really good way to connect with people and share information, Absolutely. especially important information, ways that we can help each other out. So, for example, somebody was in the group um, this morning and they were like, oh, does anybody know where I can get decor items? I'm looking for these type of things. Does anybody know? And everybody came with lots of suggestions. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's things like that that just kind of help make your life easier. Yep. You know, when you can kind of collaborate and connect with people that are like-minded too. So and now we recently found out there was an Olive Garden here. I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, so I did not know that, that. You know, yeah. or the IKEA thing that, that came in the yes. group. So yeah. the vibes. This is Connect is doing definitely what I set it out to do. Mm -hmm. Just to give you a quick history on that, I set up that when I first came here mm -hmm. to connect us from the diaspora, yeah. whether you were from the UK, Jamaica, Canada, the US, That's and right. living here on a continent, and just to form a sisterhood. Yes, it's good to kind of be able to vent at times when you're feeling a little overwhelmed mm -hmm. by processes or different things here. Mm -hmm. And also when you need to know information. That's We've right. been able to help a lot, each other out a lot, mm -hmm. you know, and support one another is definitely top key in, in the group as well. So That's right. Yes. It and it's very helpful. So yes. if you're here or um, if you're coming here, 
um, especially if you're coming. We, we want to really um, build this network more with people who are here and living here. So if you're coming here, you're coming here to live, reach out to us. We'll get you in the group yes. so she can make good connections. And um, we're going to be doing some amazing things here yes, in the we near are. future. Yes, we yes. are. Thank you, Ty. You're welcome. Amazing. So to conclude, you know, I got to pull out my 15 questions. <laughs> <laughs> it's 15 questions time. So these questions are tailored towards you. Okay. And they are meant to be quick and okay. quickly answered. So they're either or type of questions or yes or no questions. Okay. Got so you. we're going to just fly through them. It's I'm like, ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. ready. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the live vibe. All right. Afro beats or hip hop? Afro beats. <laughs> <laughs> Big lunch or big dinner? Big dinner. Okay. Beach or mountains? Mountains. Okay. Aisle seat or window seat? Window seat. Window seat. <laughs> <laughs> Hot weather or cold weather? Hot weather. Okay. Solo travel, yes or no? Yes. <laughs> Talked a lot about that already. <laughs> Outdoors or indoors? Outdoors. <laughs> Dog or cat? Dog. <laughs> Yes. Early riser or late sleeper? Early riser, but then I go back to sleep, so I don't know. <laughs> so it's you're in the middle. middle. I'm in the middle. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> that sounds like somebody I know. I ain't gonna mention no name. You're not gonna mention no name. I ain't gonna mention no name. Somebody, somebody might be behind the camera, you know. Mm. <laughs> 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 Plane or train? A train. Okay. Actually. Yeah, me too. Coffee shop or a restaurant? Coffee shop. Mm -hmm. Live band or DJ? Live band. Hey. Beer or wine? Wine. Wine. Netflix and chill or night out? <laughs> night out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Culture is the widen the widening of the mind and the spirit. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. It really honestly is. Yeah. It I really is. So Definitely. Thank you so much for being here with us oh, today. It was a, pleasure, Nika. Time. It was a wonderful conversation. Please guys, make sure you go and link up with Nika. Get your needs met, the things that you need, and be on the lookout for Fire on the Runway. I'm going to be helping with that this December. Yes, December the December, 17th. December the 17th. Yes. So you don't want to miss it if you're going to be in town. I know a lot of you guys are, so come on out and support um, Fire on the Runway. Until next time, make sure you subscribe here to Thai Inspire and be ready for our next guest with Heart to Heart with Thai. Bye-bye. Goodbye. <laughs> now I believe I can be all I dream. The connection.